Well, a new program aimed at helping homeless students stay engaged in school is on the way for Pasco County Schools. The school board approved a nearly $1 million grant program that will be funded by the federal government. News Channel 8's Megan Gannon joins us now live in the Tampa News Center with more on this story. Megan. Yeah, Jen, so this program is called the Homeless Children and Youth Project, and the district tells me this is a meaningful amount of money to deal with a significant problem. Right now, Pasco County Schools has identified more than 1,300 students as homeless in the district. Well, the majority of those are living uh, doubled up. Uh, that's sharing a house due to loss of housing, um, due to economic hardship. It could be an eviction, foreclosure, job loss, all of the above. With the Homeless Children and Youth Project, the goal is to increase identification of homeless students and enhance their engagement. And then that would in turn positively impact their academic achievement and hopefully their graduation rate as well. The money from this grant will allow the district to provide different services like tutoring at shelters, enhanced transportation, short-term housing, and more. We have emergency clothing, um, hygiene kits, laundry detergent, um, just really, you know, any resource that, you know, is going to help remove the barrier to education for students. Barbara Kleinsorge is the supervisor for this specific grant program and says a big part of this project will be to keep students at their original schools. What that means is that wherever you became homeless, if it was at, you know, a certain elementary school, we want you to stay there for that continuity of care. Um, and to keep those relationships with those teachers and the administrators that know them. And the district tells us that this is going to be a three-year grant program that they will have in place. Jen? Well, Megan, what are the next steps? Has this program already started? Yeah, so the district says that they have submitted their plans and application of what they're going to be doing with that money to the State Department of Education. So once all of that gets finalized and, of course, they get the money, they tell me they're going to start hit and hit the ground running with this program. All right, Megan Gannon, live in the Tampa News Center tonight. Thank you, Megan.